and let's try to build a new Dilophosaurus area here by basically... Oh, storm is incoming, you guys. We need to watch out. So there we go. That's going to be a Dilophosaurus wall or something right there. And then, of course, we're going to have pathway here. And I guess we could have a viewing gallery like right here at this corner. We get a storm. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need storm protect. Oh, yeah, we have storm protection over here, but not by the hotel. Hold on, hold on. Put one right here. We can squeeze one in. Yes, there we go. Whoa, that definitely messed up the terrain hardcore. <laughs> Oh, man. Let's try and fix that terrain right there, you guys. I think that's like right. I think that's already connected to the path, so I, I assume we're fine. Don't need to worry about that. Let's try and lower this terrain a little bit, make it not so trash, nasty looking. And I think that should be fine. Yeah, that's all right. All right. Anyways, we do have damage. We have damage. Oh no, repair team or ranger team. Basically a repair team, right? Come here, repair. Hammond creation or whatever needs to be repaired as well, and the other ranger team. See, this is something we need to worry about every now and then here is that uh, these storms always, like, break stuff, so we do need to watch out for that all the time. So I think that's all the things that are currently damaged, so I think we're going to be fine. That's great. Anyways, we're going out the viewing thing, maybe done here in a few minutes or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> so, Lava Source area. Yeah, they're going to have, like, full viewing area of this. This is going to be fantastic. Awesome. All right. Now, let's actually build the path. Oh, research complete for the viewing platform. Awesome. And there we go. And let's continue building the enclosure here. And I guess we still have, like, uh, electricity memes going on right now. We can't really power anything, so we might need to go do some upgrades or build a brand new power station. So let's worry about that here in a bit, but uh, let's continue. Oh, disease contracted. Let's watch out for that, you guys. That's all enclosed there. That's great. Definitely want to have some water here, too, but uh, disease and power that is unpowered there. Yeah, that uh, weather station thing, that's unpowered. Definitely want to watch out for that, you guys. But we do have a disease somewhere. Oh, over there, the Draco Rex. Draco Rex is infected. Come here, Ranger team. A task. Confirming task. Yes, confirm the task. Oh, and speaking of uh, confirming tasks and all that kind of stuff, definitely want to build a gate over here. <laughs> Don't want to do what we did with the Velociraptors where we basically forgot the heckin' gate. I guess if we put it like right here, that, that's a pretty good spot right there. Yeah, that's pretty good, honestly, not bad. All right, well, we do need to have a water, like, drinking hole area over here for these guys, so let's go to landscaping. Let's build a smaller water area thing. <laughs> ah, disease outbreak controlled. Awesome. All right, well, there we go. We have a big old Dilophosaurus lake right there, you guys. Might want to get rid of some of these trees and then just kind of rebuild them, replant them, whatever you want to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're... Oh, no, 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 no. Ranger, no, no, Velociraptors are escaped. No, 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 no. A task repair obstructed. No, 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 no. ACU, ACU, come here. A task, a task. Tranquilize, tranquilize. No problem. Holy heck. Oh, no, 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 no. No, stop crawling on the ground, you big old dumb. Stop crawling on, no, there's, oh, no, that's a dead body. That's a dead, no, that's another, no, he just got pounced. No, run, 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 run. Lawsuit, lawsuit. Lawsuit alert. What in the world are these idiots doing just crawling on the ground? Yep, just waiting to get pounced on. No, that's la that's it. My, my park is closed. That's it. Non-stop lawsuits. Non-stop lawsuits here, you guys. Oh, no. We are done. With a rep like yours, you'll soon have the loyalty of the entire security division. All right, is this... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you better get back in there. Hate us. Sheesh. Repair. To repair request. Oh, my gosh. Dead bodies everywhere. I've never seen... What in the world? Is that guy really trying to knock out one that's inside there? I think he is. Oh, that's bad. That's bad news bears. He, he just knocked one out that's already inside there, which I guess I just keep in there, right? Anyways, we're losing people. That's it. Our park is done. Always a pleasure to work with you. Okay, well, well I guess I'll accept that, but we have a huge problem here, you guys. They call it income for a reason. It is so much better than outgo. Sell, baby, sell. <laughs> yeah, sell the Edmontosaurus for the mission and all that stuff, but man, these guys keep, like, tripping and stuff like that. Hold on. I need to get the, uh, transport team over here. Remove. And then, uh, select destination. Is that one going to get knocked out? I really need to, like, get these guys, like, improved on their, the on their, like, accuracy and stuff. Like, they're doing a really bad job. Like, it's insane. And, of course, I'm going to need another, uh... It's not my nature to point out other people's faults, but you really need to start improving things on this island. <laughs> Man, our grading dropped hardcore there, you guys. That's insane. Look at all these people. Like, yeah, there's like 10 dead bodies back there. Let's just go back and look at the heck of dinos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. Facility rate, yep. Catastrophic. Shelter protection poor. Oh my gosh. I should have opened up the things. Oh man, I forgot about that. I forgot about the, 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 whatever you call them. Golly. 
<sighs> See, I, I'm like, I've never used them for that purpose, so I'm, I'm not used to it, so. Emergency shelter. Yeah, we have pretty good coverage here. I'm not talking about insurance. Sheesh. <laughs> Man, I wish. But, yeah, everyone should have been covered by that emergency. Ah, oh, I should have remembered about that. Golly. That's my fault. That's my fault. Guest injuries catastrophic. Mmm. Mmm. Now, it doesn't say, like, how many heckin' deaths. I don't, I don't know. Negative 265 for welfare penalty. Maybe people are going to be like, whoa, they put on a show. That's high ratings right there. <laughs> That's some good television. <laughs> What's the... Uh, can I put a... Yes, I can put a substance. I can just barely squeeze one in, like, right there. All right. And I can squeeze that in over there. Perfect. All right, so everything's going to be noise and powered there. Perfect. And we have a mini lake over here. I'm just getting back to, you know, trying to ignore the dead bodies that we have over there, you guys. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's a pretty good sizable lake right there. I can't complain about that one bit. And we do need a Hammond thing here, too. Asset delivery confirmed. Asset has been transported. Hmm, this guy's been tranquilized. I assume he's gonna wake up soon, maybe? I don't know. Well, anyways, Velociraptors, I don't know how they escaped. Um, might need... Oh, wait, is that even electric? Oh, yeah, it is. I might need the hardcore... What is it called? Like, heavy-duty something? I might need, like, a... Hold on. Uh, I guess I'm gonna get a transport team to just transport these guys. En route to pick up the asset. I, I, I guess it technically wakes them up whenever they transport them and stuff like that, but we do need a tr uh, Hammond thing over here for the Dilophosaurus place. Yeah, I can't put it right there. I definitely want to put it, like, right here. Yeah, there's, like, no room. So... <sighs> hmm. Probably don't need to have, like, one Hammond creation lab per, like, critter. But, like, what are you gonna do, right? Obstructed. By what? These things are, like, huge. I could always do my little method where I have, like, a hammer creation lab and then, like, a little, like, buffer area, you know? I guess I could do that. Yeah, I'll, I guess I'll do that. What's going on here? Oh, I never released the other one. Okay. Well, let's release this one. Now, this one, I think, has, like, the arid or alpine or something like that. Yep. So he's going to look like the other ones where he's, like, kind of gray. So there he goes. At least not going to escape, but speaking of escaping, I do want to kind of get that upgrade for like the heavy duty fences. Make sure these guys do not escape. So yeah, those are like light electric fences we have right now. So definitely want to get, uh, where would it be? Enclosures, yes. And standard fences. That's the heavy steel. Yes, yes. All right. So now we have the viewing gallery and all that stuff. We do have a uh, low power and stuff. So let's see. How's this doing? Upgrade, improved output 2.0. Yeah, I guess we need to have like new power in general. If I was the jealous type, I'd be pretty jealous of how well you're handling things on this island. Mm, yeah, I'm like, we're, we're recovering over here in terms of ratings pretty well. I'm like, I'm not bragging or anything, but like, we went down like under one star just moments ago. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was this? Whoa, oh yeah, I guess we have new fossils for the Edmontosaurus as well as the Corythosaurus. God, I'm never going to get these names right, but whatever. Three stars for both. Honestly, not bad. Let's get the uh, DNA for that. Perfect. Total required power, uh, eight. So we're, we're short on power by eight right now, you guys. That's why our uh, stuff over there is kind of uh, giving us problems. So let's get ourselves yet another small... Well, I, I wonder why I'm not able to get like a large power station. I don't know why it's not letting me do that, but whatever. I'm just like daisy chaining these places together. <laughs> there we go. Daisy chaining the uh, the electrical power, like pylons, as well as the pathways themselves. Man, no one's going to come over. No, literally, like no one's coming over here. It's like one person. That's probably someone that works for the park. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Man, we're doing pretty well though. I'm like, eh, considering like there's probably 10 lawsuits going on right now, and people are being like, hey, you know, there's this many people that died at this park. <laughs> we probably have less people coming and stuff like that. We're honestly recovering pretty well here, to be quite honest. I uh, guess injuries, none. Yes, shelter protection is great. Operational hotels, one. Yeah, I definitely want to get the transport rating up. I think we do that by getting like a, another, uh, like a monorail thing, like we saw earlier on. Anyways, let's try and do the buffer thing. I guess we could do the buffer thing for Velociraptor or this one. Hmm. I don't quite know. I guess we could do it for the Velociraptor. I, it's kind of in a corner, you know? So I suppose we could do it. So I guess I'll do the fence. This is what I did last time, is I built the actual gateway itself first. And then after that, I built the, uh, the fences around it. 
Speaking of the fences, I wonder how long it's going to take for the heavy duty fences to be done, being researched, because of course I do want to replace all those with the heavy duty fences here. Uh, less than a minute. All right, we're, we're good to go. Should be done here in just a bit, so don't need to wait too long. Anyways, speaking of upgrades, let's go back to that brand new power station. Let's give it some of those nice 2.0 upgrades, improved output 2.0, as well as the outage protection. That's always good. Noish. So now we should have a 70 power output. Very, very nice. All right. So honestly, oh my God, we have what is that? One, four, four, five power stations here. Wow. Oh, research complete. Perfect. Just in time, you guys. And of course, we're going to need to replace all this over here. Heavy steel fence. Perfect. Surprised we haven't gotten any problems in terms of uh, the Ceratosaurus. Knock on wood, right? But there you go. So there's going to be the buffer. I guess we could use this as a Dilophosaurus thing and just kind of use the ACU center to transport it to the Dilophosaurus area. So it seems like because these guys have escaped... And why did they escape, though? Hold on. Comfort or, or what? What's the problem here? Why is it not showing their... Uh, oh, here we go. Dinosaur st st statistics. Yeah, I don't know why they escaped. These guys are doing really well on social popular... Honestly, they're doing well on everything. Full, full rating on uh, comfort. Huh. It's just socializing right now. That's what I'm talking about. They're just hanging out. Where's the fourth one at? Oh, there it is all the way over there. Just kind of hanging out, not doing any socialization. Kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> Just staying inside recording videos all day, right? Basically all YouTubers in a nutshell, right? Jeez. Anyways, let's go back over here. That's getting a little bit too real here, you guys. Let's upgrade this to the heavy, uh, what's it called? Heavy steel. Oh, definitely want to upgrade that one as well. And let's just upgrade all the Velociraptor area to the brand new heavy steel upgraded fences. So hopefully they're not going to escape. Although this is not electrical. This is just a regular, like just a fence. But it's better than the light steel that we had. But I don't know if it's going to be any better than the light electrical steel. Or $303,000 per minute. Wow. And that's profit. Wow. That's awesome. Really good money here, you guys. Anyways, let's make ourselves. Oh, wait. Um... I don't think we ever got the Lavasaurus things, did we? Yeah, now that I think about it, I don't think we ever did. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway, speaking of uh, making gates and stuff, let's continue making more of these light steel type doohickeys. Uh, it's not too big. It's about as big as the Ceratosaurus area, honestly. And we're probably going to have multiple of these guys, but yeah, speaking of the Lavasaurus, we have like none of their DNA. <laughs> so let's go get our uh, expedition team <laughs> to get ourselves more Lavasaurus DNA, you guys. So uh, where can we find their stuff? Uh, Cory, Cora. Oh, yeah, these are herbivores, though. Tyrannosaurus there at the Morrison found it, or uh, formation. Yeah, let's go back to China, or I think it was Mongolia or something like that. Uh, no, Mongolia was a Velociraptor. Yeah, it is China for the Dilophosaurus and all that stuff. Oh, we can go here for exclusively Dilophosaurus for lower Luf Lufeng series compared to the Zilujing full formation. Let's go here. Let's get uh, Dilophosaurus stuff. So there we go. All right. Honestly, I'm having fun. I'm having a great time here. Let's go back to the, a research center. We saw something about, like, the monorail thing here. So, what was it called, like, uh, transportation or something? Yeah, transit. Oh, whoa, I just I just did something right there. I don't know what it is, but we just spent maybe a billion dollars on that. <laughs> oh, can I, I? I don't think I could uh, cancel a research. Whatever. We do, uh, speaking of research, we do have genetic research and stuff to give a better, like, robust digestion and all that kind of stuff. I guess we could do that to hopefully give them better ratings and stuff like that here in the future. And speaking of upgrades, uh, we do have more upgrades here for algae protection. AC re reload speed. Might want to get that. That might help out with, like, uh, tranking these guys. Hmm. Not too sure. I guess I could do it. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, yeah, we can do it until the monorail thing's done. Okay, well, let, let's wait until the monorail thing is done. But, yeah, well, let's continue working on our, like, shopping and all that other kind of stuff. Because we're not really doing too well on that, to be quite honest. Definitely want to get that up hardcore. So, facility ratings back at four and what looks like maybe a quarter stars right there. So, let's try and get that, like, five star rating thing. Do we have that uh, mission, actually? Yeah, we do have the contract for the maintain facility rating of five stars. Yeah, that's going to be a hard one, you guys. Wow. So, the next lowest thing is fun rating. You know, ignoring the transport rating, which hopefully should go up after the monorail thing. Fun rating should go up if we get... What? What would get the fun rating up? Uh, two stars with the gift shop. One star with the fast food. Three stars with the toy shop. Yes. And one star with the clothes shop. And yeah, okay. I guess we can get another toy shop over here. I'm like mad as well. And uh, we can probably squeeze it in like... I don't know. I don't think we can squeeze it in anywhere here. Ah, might be able to squeeze one in like right here though. Oh, yeah. Looked like I was able to squeeze one in like... Oh, whoa, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, almost got one there, you guys. You guys see that? Come on. There we go. Toy shop time. All right, expedition complete, you guys. <gasps> amber, awesome. It seems like we get... Oh, my God, look at those frills. Very high quality. Of course, it's amber. $40,000 to extract that DNA. And look at that. We got four-star amber and then a three-star. Nice. All right. What is this, like a storm coming here? Or 
Oh, I thought I heard like a storm warning sound. Okay, I, I guess that's good. Anyway, sell dinosaur at Montasaurus. I guess we could incubate one. Um, how are we doing in terms of their stuff? Didn't we max it out? Oh yeah, there's the Corith Corithosaurus. That's not quite ready to incubate yet, but the, uh, where's it at? Edmont oh, it's only at 89%, wow. But with the, uh, the Hammond Creation Lab, like, up oh, I, I guess I never did the Hammond Creation Lab uh, upgrades for 2.0 over here, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, you're never too old to visit our new toy shop. <laughs> Never too old to visit our new toy shop, yeah. Alright, well, I guess if we make it an Edmontosaurus over here and then sell it, of course. Shouldn't be too hard to keep up with it, and of course, maybe we're going to get more money if we... Nah, I guess I can't do any more. Eh, let's just get a regular $200,000 one, and then just sell it immediately. Anyways, we do have a uh, toy shop that just opened, so let's do some dino stickers, dino plush, RCSaurus. Are we still the RCSaurus at the other one? I don't remember. Let's sell this one for like $29.95. <laughs> And there's- oh my god, it's maxed out. Wow! Holy heck, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of money. How much money are we making now? Three to ten thousand dollars per minute. I don't think it's updated with the brand new toy shop there. Wow! So that definitely is increasing our fun factor here, you guys. Whoa! Gift shop, clothes shop, restaurant, where's the other toy shop? Oh, here it is right here. This one's selling the dino plushie. Okay, okay, so we're selling it for ten. Let's sell it for heckin' fourteen ninety-five. Make ourselves even more- wow, wow, wow. Hold on, we need more staff. There you go. They don't have enough, uh capacity for all the customers because they're so heckin popular nowadays gift shop over here still isn't popular <laughs> why is no one coming over here you guys i kind of want to just close these places <laughs> uh, kind of funny because i was just on the clothes shop right but kind of want to like close these places and open them up again and be like oh whoa okay well it looks like now we have heckin money <laughs> anyways i guess i'll sell the shirt for uh I don't know, 19.95. There we go. Hopefully that's going to bring in some customers because you're heckin' sick of the dino stickers or whatever I was selling just moments ago. <laughs> the dino hat, I think. Anyways, how's the fast food place doing over here? Uh, oh my god, maximum capacity. Holy heck, everyone loves those. Oh my gosh, 7.45. Man, basically maxed out over here, making tons of money. Sell for 25. Let's uh, sell that for 26. Make another extra dollar. All right. Wow. This is crazy awesome. We're making tons of money here. Ma wow, maximum capacity here maximum capacity here already too wow oh my god i never did the prices and stuff here you guys whoa uh four dollars sell that for like heckin 10 i don't care <laughs> making tons of money man how much are we at now 318 i don't think that went up oh the monorail thing yeah i don't even know what that is what is the monorail thing i'm like i never i i, I accidentally like initiated the research and i don't even know what the research was about <laughs> Anyways, let's go get the uh, the excavation team. Let's basically do what we did with the Velociraptor, but do it with the Dilophosaurus now, where we just send dig team after dig team after dig team to go get a bunch of, bunch of fossils. All right, well, I guess we already did the fossils there, and seems like we got the Edmontosaurus nice and done. So let's release a dino. Seems like he was successful, which is great. And let's get the ACU team out here to knock him out basically immediately. There we go. Setting additional tasks. All right. Oh, and speaking of the ACU center, uh, let's go do that upgrade. I wanted or research that I wanted to do. Oh, it is an upgrade. And I'm right either way. Ah, I'm not bragging. Three hundred thousand dollars for that research. Holy heck! Speed on research. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome an Edmontosaurus to the park. Accuracy, reload speed. Yeah, I think they're doing all right right now. But of course, they could be a little bit better with that uh, two point upgrade. All right. Well, there you go. They got that uh, nice knocked out. Let's go and sell that for one hundred twenty-three thousand dollars. Alright, so we spent uh, $200,000 on it, sell for $123,000, and the sell dinosaur contract is going to give us how much money? Sell, sell, is that it? No, yes it is. We're going to get $150,000 from Isaac for doing it. Alright, so that's good money, that's good profit there. Alright, that's great. So, anyways, speaking of the Lavasaurus, what is he at on his, uh, his rating and all that kind of stuff? Or his, uh, genome? Uh, he's only at 42%. Okay, so we definitely need to wait for the next one in order to, uh, oh, whoa, am I making some? Oh, I thought I was making something. Collected. Yeah, asset collected. And money shall be collected here in a moment, you guys. Oh, yep, there's the monorail station. Finally got that thing unlocked. Monorails allow guests to travel quickly between areas of the park. More efficient connections from the arrival point to viewing attractions, visitor centers, and hotels. Increased transport rating. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. So, oh, golly, I, I, I wasn't really thinking about this. Like, I guess I could put a stop like over here, maybe. But it needs to be connected to some power. So, man, I need to make like, another uh, thing there. But uh, what are you going to do? There we go. Monorail. All right. So I guess I'm going to be doing the connection. So, oh, my gosh, I'm actually building it. Holy heck. Wow. Awesome. Holy heck. So I'm actually connecting the monorail on this park. You guys can. Can I build outside the park? I cannot. I'd work with you anytime. Alright, so, I don't know if this monorail, like, going over the buildings, I don't know if that's gonna, like, affect their, like, 
rating and all that kind of stuff, but kind of want to have them like on the outskirts kind of, you know? And where's that like connect? Oh, it goes all the way out to there. Oh, sheesh. I think I did it the wrong way. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Oh, we can just kind of do a little twisty turny type thing from... Oh, wait. Can I not? Can I? Oh, yeah. That's like the, the entrance. Okay, well, I guess I could have this like curve around right here because no one's going to heck and come over here, right? Sheesh. <laughs> Well, let's put another, uh, let's put another port or whatever right here, I suppose. This should be a good look. Oh, tracking complete. Yeah, I know. Whatever. There we go. All right, so connect this heckin' path to the monorail all the way over here. Uh, delete this. Can I delete? Yes, delete that. I delete these. Man, this mon- I thought we can connect it up to the monorail at the very front of the park so people can just kind of get off the monorail, like, wherever they want, you know? But I suppose that's not the case, at least right now. Anyways, to connect that all together to another part, that should be good. All the way over to there. I guess I could put another one, like, right here, right? I might be able to squeeze one in. Let's see, can I squeeze one in right here? Nah, I can't squeeze one in right there. Ah, man. That would have been a really good spot to put one, though. Although, I guess I could squeeze one in, like, right here. There we go. Then, of course, we could put a pathway all the way out to there. We'll worry about that in a bit, though. But for right now... Let's continue building the monorail. Da -da no! Oh, old age probably. Old age, I bet. How much you guys want to bet old heck and age? Yeah, let's keep building this thing. It's kind of crazy here, you guys. It's going like around the hotel and stuff, like through the heckin' hotel. What? I think it's literally going through the hotel. <laughs> keep building the monorail. There we go. Go around the hotel. Obstructed. Obstructed by what? Curve too sharp. Okay, whatever. There we go. That's a full-on monorail there, you guys. All right, well, we do have a dead dino. Um, oh, it's uh, one of the early Struthiomimuses, it seems like. Okay, well, let's get the good old ACU transport team out of here. Asset to be collected. All right, well, that's unfortunate. That, that, that's lowering our rating as, as well, so definitely want to take care of that. But uh, we do need to connect the pathways for, I think, all three of these things, to be quite honest. Um, might want to make this a big pathway. There you go. All right, so I definitely want to connect the power to that, too. And this one, I... Do not know if I'll be able to squeeze this big old pathway through this. Um, oh, yes I can! Whoa, that's wow, that's actually very... I did not think I was able to do that, but wow. Well, I guess they're going to be coming out of the monorail and they're forced to go to the shopping center! Ah, <laughs> uh, they're not going to go to the shopping center, like, we all know that. <laughs> Asset transportation on no one goes to the heckin' shopping center. No one, no, no one even knows it exists. But there we go. We have a monorail now, you guys. I'm very, 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 very excited. I think the only, I think this is the only one that's connected to power, like right off the bat. So we do need to make a, uh, uh, whatever you call it, substation. Need to make one of those, like right there, and connect it to. I can't connect it to that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, demolish the building. Yes. Substation. Build it a little bit closer. There we go. There we go. Nice and connected. All right. So that's going to be connected. And let's build yet another substation over here. Oh, there's a new contract that I want you to consider. Using it? Yeah, I could do that, no problem. I'm like, I am trying to get the Lophosaurus fossils, so I'm going to get that, like, easy peasy, no problemo. Anyways, let's get that notion unlocked and connect that, and boom. Alright, so everything's going to be nice and powered. I think we have enough power to cover everything, at least for now. So there we go. Is the monorail free? Oh! I'm not a fan of long walks, and it seems your guests agree with me. Increase your transport coverage and help us all take a load off. Yeah, I agree. I'm like, this is all, honestly like a big, huge step here, you guys, with the transport rate. I'm like, that was our lowest thing. But now I, I feel like our uh, stops, I think they're in a decent. I'm like, they cover a pretty good part of the map or the park or whatever you want to say. So I feel like my transport rating is definitely going to help out our facility rating like tremendously. Like we might even hit five stars and I'm not bragging. But anyways, guests dislike traveling too far from the arrival point to viewing attractions, visitor centers and hotels. I think our first monorail thing is kind of close to the entrance, so that shouldn't be too bad, I suppose. Build monorails to create more efficient journeys from your arrival point to distant destinations. Constructing direct and efficient path routes can also minimize distances traveled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with like the circular type thing, so people don't, you know, there's like multiple pathways and stuff like that. Anyways, do I charge money for this thing? Edit monorail track, global transport rating 83%. <sighs> Honestly, not too bad for my first monorail. So, damaged, no, that's good. Visible dinosaurs, zero. What? Wait, I wonder if I could take this through an actual dino area. Ooh. I'm like, I basically avoided it. I'm like, whoa, you can actually see my monorail pretty well from here. Holy heck. Anyways, yeah, I, I, I should probably put, like, the monorail, like, starter, beginning, doohickey. Ah! It's kind of close. That's not too bad, I suppose. Although I should probably put like a heckin' gift shop or something right next to the monorail entrance, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let me, I, I'm curious. Let's see what my tram, whoa! Transport rating up to 91%, we're five-star facility, holy heck! Is the timer going down? Yes, it is, oh my gosh! 
Only need to maintain it for two more minutes. Yes! Wow! Wow! You guys, that went flying hardcore. I know we need to do a feeder thing, but we do need to get more at the source thing, so there we go. Now, where's this feeder at that needs to be refilled? Is it the, uh, the vo yes, it is a Velociraptor one. Okay, well, let's come over here with the Ranger team and let them do what they need to do. Feeder supplies inbound. Feeder supplies inbound. All right, so there we go. Might want to build, uh, yeah, what else are we missing in terms of, like, facility and stuff like that? Uh, food and drink rating and stuff, yeah. Do we, don't we have a little restaurant, like, right here? Yeah, we have a fast food, but not, like, a straight restaurant. So, yeah, let's get, another, let's get a restaurant. That should be really good for getting the food and drink rating up. So, let's see if we can squeeze one in, like, right about, uh, can't squeeze one in right there, okay. <laughs> Guess I can squeeze one in, like, right about there. All right, that should be great. And it's, like, right across the... <laughs> you go across a big old monorail thing. You're nice, tired, and hungry, and there's a big old restaurant right outside. That's going to be perfect. <laughs> All right, well, we have about a minute left on the maintained facility rating of five stars, so that's going to be fan fiddle diddle -tastic. And our restaurant is nearly done. How are we doing on power? So we have 54 available power. That's great. So don't need to worry about that, at least for a little while. I kind of want to... Uh, is there a way for me to, like, drive the monorail? Mono rail? I don't think so. 2013 meters long. That's honestly not that bad. Anyways, I'm not actually physically seeing the monorail itself. I feel like it might be, like, invisible. Oh, wait, no, there it is right there. Yes! Look at the monorail, you guys. Let our new restaurant serve you. Let our new restaurant serve you. Yes. Let's see. What all are they selling? They're probably heckin' packed. Filled to the brim. Yep, they're filled to the brim. And 325.31. Sheesh. Let's go up to that. Snack of sword. Yeah, I guess I can sell the cheapo stuff for heckin' $18. I don't give a heck. Making good eatings over here. I'll tell you that much. Jeez. <laughs> Making, wow, 400% profit margin there, you guys. Golly. Contract complete. Thanks for helping create entertainment. Yes, the five-star rating there, that got done. Expedition Carnivore Fossil, that got done right there. That's what I was about to say. They just got arrived back. I wasn't entirely sure about this one, but you proved me wrong. Yeah, I prove a lot of people wrong. And I'm not bragging or anything, but I'm just stating facts here. But wow, five-star rating on this park, at least in facility. Kind of, I'm like, we have not too many diverse dinosaurs over here, but what are you going to do, right? Anyways, how's the actual Dilophosaurus doing, like, baseline? Like, how's it doing in terms of genome? Uh, it's doing... Oh, it hasn't even hit 50%. Oh, yeah, I, I had, like, four fossils over there. I haven't I haven't researched yet. That's probably the reason why. All right. Anyways, yeah, let's get the Dilophosaurus that's nice and made and get their genome and all that kind of stuff. Let's get all that done here in a bit. And then uh, maybe we can end the episode or something like that. And then, we, of course, move on to the next island. But honestly, Isla Muerta, the Island of the Dead, which honestly is kind of ironic or however we want to describe it. Because I'm like, we've only had one dead dino, but that's because we've had such great genomes for basically everything here. Like, especially for the brand new Velociraptor. We never even made them until they hit like 60% genome or something like that. And even then, we had like plus 60% from the Hammond Creation Lab upgrades. So we didn't really have any problems in terms of their viability and stuff like that, you know? So we're doing really, really well here. Anyway, speaking of our restaurant, uh, that's not really doing really, really well. Let's get the management down because we're not really that popular. Probably from the heckin' price. Let's go up to uh, $12. Maybe they'll bring in even more. How much money are we making? $329,000 a minute. Golly, that's good eatings. Dino hat for $10. Are they packed here? Not quite. Uh, maybe they're not in the best area. But then again, they're like, oh, yes, viable genome, yes. But then again, yeah, they're like right outside the, what do you call it, the monorail thing. So there's that, right? Park overcrowding, 12%. Path connection. I don't think I need to worry about the hotel stuff. What about the other facilities? Oh, wow. Everything here is like really good. 95%, 83, 82, 88, 93, and 88. Wow. Still, though, the variety penalty, that's the thing holding us back hardcore here, you guys. Like, I think all of our dinos are relatively, like, highly rated here and stuff like that. Let's, uh, let's request a contract from science over from Dr. Kua or whatever her name is. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Dua, Dr. Kajul Dua. Kind of makes their first and last name up a little bit. Let's get a contract. I want to take this contract, which means you want to take it too, correct? Absolutely. Acquire at least 60% of the Corythosaurus genome. I think that might be how you pronounce it. I guess we'll find out once we make it, because of course the announcement lady does pronounce the name of the critter as soon as we make it, of course. Corythosaurus. This contract goes to the heart of what we do and what we can accomplish. We need a Corythosaurus genome for our research. I encourage you to consider this contract. It is important to us in the science division, which means it should be important to you. Absolutely. Let's accept the contract. All right, well... 
I kind of want to do another contract for science just because I'm like, oh, we have to wait a minute until we can do another request. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Don't want to like over flood everyone with heckin' contracts, right? I know his Carithosaurus genome is pretty close to 60%. I guess I could do an expedition team to go out there here in a moment. Oh, wow. Speaking of the expedition team, they're almost back already. Nice. So I think that's like an American or I think it was a Canadian. I think we went to like horseshoe something and got, yeah, right here with the Edmontosaurus and stuff. Truthiomimus ankylos. Oh, whoa, ankylos. Wow. An or ankylosaur, however you want to pronounce it. Let's go over here to scholar formation. So we're going to get the Carithosaurus and the Ankylosaurus or Ankylosaurus. Let's get that. 75,000. Wow. All right. Well, anyways, speaking of uh, fossils and such, let's get ourselves that three star one for Dilophosaurus and this one star one and then sell this silver for $120,000. Making some great, great money here, you guys. Really, really good. Anyways, I think I'm going to pause recording. We're, we're in a spot right now where I'm, I'm basically just going to continue getting a bunch of fossils and stuff for, you know, Dilophosaurus as well as the Carithosaurus as well as the Ankylosaurus or Ankylosaurus. So I think I'm going to pause the recording and continue sending my expedition team out to, you know, do what they need to do and explore and excavate and all that kind of stuff, get new fossils. And I'll see you guys here in a bit and we can probably end the episode and of course start at the brand new island here next episode too. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let me make another Ceratosaurus. Let's make, uh, yeah, that one, modify genome and I think... Let's make the regular skinned one there. Maybe see if we can get uh, some other high ratings. Yeah, 11 on that one. Yeah, let's do that one. 10, 6, 5. Yeah, let's, do, let's keep that 10. 10, 11. Yes, let's do that one. Oh, yeah, it's Tooth Hardness 2.0. That's probably why it's doing uh, good ratings there. Ratings don't really, uh, or viability don't really matter nowadays because our ratings, I'm like our uh, Hammond Creation Lab, like perks and upgrades and all that kind of stuff basically cancels it out. Like, look at the viability. 76%, but the Hammond Creation Lab stuff makes it go up by 30%, which I should probably give it the other upgrade. Success rate 2.0, yes. That way we have even better viability and such. Oh, a storm is a brewing. Ladies and gentlemen, please be advised that our weather... Yeah, our weather system has tracked the storm or something. Well, anyways, let's get our... Oh my gosh, this thing costs almost a million ecking dollars. Expedition team is back. Whoa! Conifer fossils, 40 thou. Platinum, 360 thou. Ankylosaurus fossil. And it looks like another one there as well. Oh, storm warning. Yeah, we already know about that. Extra DNA for both of these things. But yeah, I think I'm going to pause the recording and, you know, just get a bunch of boring and laborious, like, fossil excavation and all that kind of stuff done real quick. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, uh, no, 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 you guys. Okay, okay. Velociraptors are escaping again. I did just tell. Oh, no, no, no. I like to feel secure. Whatever. Okay, take pictures of dinos running. I don't care. Anyways. is our ability to do so. Whatever. Speaking of running, I'm telling everyone to run to the nearest Tekken thing. The nearest Tekken shelter. Hopefully that's going to help out. But man, there's already, there's so many deaths. That's insane. Come on. Tranquilize these Tekken critters already. Oh, man. Golly. Ranger team, where's the ranger team at? They need to repair the phone. Well, they're all escaped by now. It's not that... Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, there's a dead body there. There goes our rainy again, just as we can recover on the rating. We lose it again. Man. Ah, oh, there's the there's the ranger team right there. They're going to repair it. I think they got it. Okay, that's good. But they're still heckin' coming over here, terrorizing everyone. Let's move this guy back into the place. There we go. Come on, where's the other one at? Is everyone inside? I don't think so. There's still a Velociraptor right there. Ah, no. Man. Get him. Yes. Okay, that one's down. That's good. Transport team, pick up that one and then move there. That's that to be collected. Yes. That one's hopefully going to get knocked out with the... There he goes. Nice and knocked out. Perfect. Oh, my gosh. Our rating is below one star again. So that's three. Now, where's number four at? I did already tell the ACU to, uh, I don't know where any other, uh, oh, 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 there he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, no. Come on, ACU. No, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, I can only queue up three, uh, tasks for the ACU center. That's probably why, because, of course, we have four Tlophosauruses. No, or, uh, Raptors. Golly. Come on, go into the emergency shelter, everyone. God, man, they have to run past the Velociraptor. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, my God, he has, like, a trank inside. It's, like, floating in front. Oh, speaking of trank, he's nice and knocked out. Perfect. Transport, transport. Come on, transport them back in. Oh my gosh. Well, at least I told everyone to go into the emergency shelters and stuff. So, ah oh man, but then again, the emergency shelter's like right next to the Velociraptor thing. Ah, oh, I should have put like, I need a, I need a emergency thing like over here. Delivery complete. Wow. Okay, delivery complete. Well, this one still needs to be picked up and moved. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell everyone to come out of the shelters until then. And of course, we only have, like, two shelters. 
Man, there's like no one on the streets. I guess everyone's inside the shelters, right? Park shelter coverage, 72%. Yeah, I don't think... I think it's... I think it's fine. I don't think it, like, has a capacity or anything like that, so that's good. Anyways, they're picking up the final one, which is great. Man. <laughs> These Velociraptors, they love escaping, I'll tell you that much. Maybe I need to do, like, a double wall type thing, you know? Where... They're, they have to break through two walls, basically, to, like, escape. Ah, I've been thinking about that for a while. Kind of in the back of my head, but I, I, I feel like I really need to do that, you know? As well as maybe make more, uh... Transportation in progress. As well as maybe make more emergency shelters, like one over here, because these guys all, uh, they all have to run to either here, where this emergency shelter is, or all the way over to here. So I definitely want to have one maybe at the front of the park or something like that, so people can, can you know, run away from the dinos instead of running towards the dinos. <laughs> Whenever, yeah, you know, I'm like nine times out, well, two times out, two, it's been Velociraptors escaping over here, so, I mean, it's not really the best idea to have the, uh, the emergency shelter basically right next to the Lost Raptor thing, right? But there you go, they're transported over here, that's good. Now we close all the shelters. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for any inconvenience experienced during our recent handling of anomalous events. <laughs> anomalous events. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, how's our rating taking a hit? Catastrophic. Shelter protection. Poor. I don't know if that's any better, but, uh... Hey, dinosaur visibility is 98%. <laughs> Uh, everything, yeah, yeah, look at that. Everything else is recovering. That's great. 74%. Wow, everything's 90 some percent except for food and drink. That's insane. I, I should probably build in like another restaurant or something over here. Oh, is that a closed place? That's a gift shop. Yeah, let's build, let's build a restaurant here towards the beginning. Yeah, let's definitely do that. Uh, another restaurant right about here. Can I build that like right there? Terrain constraint. Man, that looks fine to me. Somewhat. <laughs> you know? Oh, there you go. Now I can build one right there. That's perfect. All right. And is that going to be powered though? Ah, uh, man, I don't think it is. God, that's like right outside of range. <laughs> oh, man, how hilarious. All right, so everything over here should be nice and powered. But anyways, like I said, I was going to do, I'm going to pause the recording, <laughs> try and get some more uh, Dilavatorus stuff, and I'll see you guys here in a bit, but I just wanted to show you guys, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best with like the escaping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I guess I'll build yet another uh, guest emergency shelter. Yeah, let's build one over here. Yeah, there isn't one over here, so I guess, yeah, that makes sense to have one here. Yeah, let's build, let's build one, like, right next to the monorail thing. I, that just makes sense, right? Squeeze one in, like, right here at the monorail thing, I guess. Maybe I could put one in right here, or maybe right here. Where in the world can I squeeze one of these things in? Oh, there you go. I guess I could squeeze one in, like, right there. That, that should be fine. That's kind of towards the front. That's good. That's good. Although, that one's... I guess I, I kind of want to put one, like, right over here. I guess I can't have too many emergency shelters, right? <laughs> There we go, that's good. That's good, let's build the path. There we go, that's a big old path. And that one's basically connected already, so that's fine. All right, so I think we have enough emergency shelters around here to basically cover all grounds, I'd say. Hopefully everyone's not going to be running towards the emergency thing again. Ah, this one's not really in the best spot, you know? Hmm, at least they'll be running away from the dinos, you know? I kind of want to get rid of this emergency shelter. Well, how much ground does this one cover? Kind of want to look at the management views and then, uh, shelters? Yeah, that's covering a lot of ground there. Uh, I don't really like how it's like right next to the Velociraptor area, you know, <laughs> but uh, what are you going to do, right? Well, basically the whole park should be covered here after we have all these things up and running. So here's the new one. This one's still being built, so it's going to cover like basically this whole area. And of course, this one's covering this over here. So I think we should be fine. I think basically the whole entire park's going to be. Yep, that one's done now. And let's look at the management reviews for it. Yeah, look at that. Basically, the whole park is covered. I'm like, there is this little bit here in the middle. That's not really protected, but eh, it's not too bad, I suppose. Oh, expedition complete. More Dilophosaurus. And, ah, no amber. Ah, seems like you only get amber on, like, the first expedition, you know? Man. But that's why I'm going to pause the recording and continue doing millions more expeditions. And I'll see you guys here in a bit. Hey.